Hey, it's the Mill Geek, and today I'm going to show you how to take a bootcamp installation and put it inside of a virtual machine. Now, this process I'm going to be using a program by the name of VMware Fusion. This is a paid program. I actually got this one through my institution. And there's probably different ways to do this with Oracle VirtualBox or possibly Parallels, which is another virtualization program, but I'm going to show you the method of how to do it with VMware Fusion. All right, first you're going to want to actually open up VMware Fusion, which I could just do that. Now you're going to get this menu if you first installed it. I actually deleted my old bootcamp um, setup. Now this is assuming that you've actually already gone through the bootcamp installation process and installed the drivers and things. So you go over here to more options. There's actually an option for installing from bootcamp. Now what this is going to do is it going is it's going to literally attach the bootcamp drive as a system drive and run the OS with it. You're still going to be able to boot it off of bootcamp as long as that bootcamp drive is there. As you can see, I've got mine right over here. And let's install from bootcamp. Now it's going to ask for the bootcamp thing, and we're going to import the one. Well, let's see. We're actually going to want to create the bootcamp virtual machine. What import will do is it literally make a copy on the system of the bootcamp VM. But I want, but I want to be able to have the changes reflect literally. If I read, if I run Windows natively, I want those changes to be there. And importing would not do that. Importing would just have a virtual machine. So this is at least that's your option if you're want if you want to make a copy of that and run it as a virtual machine. So let's create that bootcamp virtual machine. It's actually not going to take that long because it just needs to read exactly what's happening with the virtual machine. So let's run that. And again, this is just taking it and attaching it as a hard drive. As you can see, my it, my uh, bootcamp disappeared in the corner because it's actually mounting it and looking at the hard drive. I actually already, again, I already have VMware tools installed, which you're going to have to put in if you want to have things like native, native resolution, native screen resizing, and just an overall better experience using VMware tools. Now, I'm actually going to go and customize the settings. You're going to get the menu like this, and I'm going to add, I'm going to move my memory to, I'm going to give it 4 gigs, so 4096. And I'm going to limit it to one processor core. The one thing about processing cores is it only takes up that amount. Or it only takes up the amount that it needs on that virtual CPU. Pretty much that what the virtual CPU does is on behalf of the system it schedules time to actually do its processing. Same with the memory. And let's just quickly check the advanced options to see if there's anything we've checked there. And Okay, so now that we've got that set up, I'm going to actually take this full screen, and that's pretty much how you actually set up your boot camp. See, as you can see, it'll just boot up, and I'll see you guys back when I actually am finished with that. And again, a note, if I wanted the actual performance that I would get with a native machine, I would literally just be able to turn off the machine, hold Alt while I'm starting my Mac, and then boot into Windows. And if you haven't installed VMware tools before, it's probably going to actually um, run a script that's going to automatically install VMware tools, which actually what's doing right now, which it's probably going to be very confused right now since I already have VMware tools on there, unless it's actually updating it. So that is pretty much how you run your bootcamp Windows 7 or whatever OS you're running in, your, in there as a virtual machine. So as you can see, I have my Windows running. For example, I'm working on something for Cisco Packet Tracer and I'm working on documents. So I can just swipe over, work on my documents, and swipe back. And v VMware Fusion has actually made this very, very easy. I'm used to using tools like VMware Workstation, Oracle VirtualBox, Hyper-V for Windows and Windows Server, and they just made VMware Fusion very, very user-friendly. 
So if you like the video, um, like, and for, I might do some other Macintosh videos. I just got this Mac, so I just wanted to show you guys that. So if you want to, take a look at some of my other videos, and I hope you have a good day.